Welcome to Plymouth, home of Princess Yachts Limited. I'm Will Green, I'm the Chief Sales Officer here at the shipyard. I'm going to give you a five minute tour of the Princess X95. Please come on in. So this is X95 hull number two. Please forgive the floor coverings, there's a bit of protection down. This is going through the final test and audit stage of completion. As I said, this is hull number two. The first boat was delivered earlier this year. Uh, and you'll see uh, next door we've got hole number three which has already been launched so we're very excited out of South Yard uh, X95 has dominated production capacity here uh, and is uh, so far is a, a storming success. Uh, we've just signed uh, hull number 12 so we've sold 12 boats um, really before we delivered the first boat so off plan that's uh, pretty pretty spectacular. The most exciting thing about the X95 is it's a new class of boat, the first in line, X, uh, implying exploration. And this is a boat that can perform with 1900 horsepower engines to the same levels as our previous 30 meter did with 2600 horsepower. Um, a new hull shape for Princess, wave piercing bow, longer waterline length, it gives us an extremely efficient hull which at 10 knots can cruise uh, roughly 2,000 nautical miles. So for uh, our adventurous friends in Southeast Asia, um, commuting or traveling between Singapore and Thailand uh, is a breeze. And for those who are a little more adventurous, uh, somewhere like the Maldives is, is, is within uh, striking distance. So, so a phenomenal boat with some uh, characteristics that can absolutely give you the opportunity to enjoy massive cruising grounds. Quick tour, we're in the main deck. This is the main deck saloon and dining. Um, galley, which is enclosed on the port side. Uh, and on a 95 foot princess, uh, a main deck master suite, which enjoys the full beam of the boat. So we'll go and take a quick look. So we've got an absolutely huge master suite on this boat and if you take the square footage of the floor plan on the X95, because she has three decks, the main deck with no lower helm position, stretching all the way to the forward end of the boat, enjoying this forward window um, with views out at the moment to uh, what we call shallow dock in, in our facilities in Princess, but you can imagine the, the vistas in turquoise waters. And, uh, and the islands and beautiful weather of, of Southeast Asia. Um, given this accommodation and the fact we've put the helm position on an enclosed upper deck, so she's got an enclosed part of the flybridge, um, this boat has the same square footage as our 35 meter. To, to demonstrate that and illustrate that, this is 95 feet, 35 meters is 115 feet. So you've got a huge amount of accommodation space on this boat. The master suite enjoying, as I said, the full beam of the boat. The side decks go up and over the top. Um, and here you've got a suite with a, a large bathroom uh, after the cabin. So here we have a 95 foot princess with a sky lounge. So I'm standing in the bridge in the wheelhouse. These sliding doors, you've got double sliding doors both sides to separate the owner's accommodation on the upper deck to the bridge. Um, for those who like to use their boat as an owner operator, these can be left open so that it's a social area or they can be enclosed to separate the crew from the guests. Aft of these patio doors, we've got a very large flybridge on this boat, which is the five cabin version, you've got seating for 10. As you can see, we're enjoying the autumn weather in Plymouth, traditionally British, so no sunshine and, and excuse the covers on the tables, but hopefully you'll get the impression. Now from the aft flybridge, you can actually walk around the side of the, of the wheelhouse here on the starboard side to another seating area forward. On this boat, you've got a seating area which is comfortable for 10, and a large jacuzzi, and forward of that, the, uh, the anchor deck. One of the things that's uh, most notable on this boat, 
at 95 feet is that all three decks here on the upper deck, there are no steps in the deck, everything is on one level. It's the same thing on the main deck, including the master suite in the bathroom. And again, the same thing on the lower deck, which is probably the most unusual. And you've got four very large guest staterooms, two of which enjoy the full beam of the boat. And again, all on one level, no steps at all. So thank you for joining us here on the X95. Uh, best wishes to you all and uh, best wishes to Coonvrit. See you soon.